this was a picture that was actually sent in. So we're seeing these things that are kind of sticking off of our beet plant, off of the leaves, and the leaves are turning a little bit yellow. I can also see some other types of little bit of damage. I don't know for sure exactly what might be causing it. Looks like it's something is actually chewing, which probably tells me it could be a beetle or it could be a caterpillar of some sort. But I don't see any indication specifically of anything other than these one, two, three, four things that are sticking out. They're kind of cool looking. So they want to know really, is this what's causing the damage to the beet plant? So let's look. It's actually a lace wing is what that is. It's the eggs of a lace wing. Lace wings are beneficial insects. So if you see that on any of your garden plants or flowers, don't try to get rid of them. You want to keep them there. They come as either a green lace wing or a brown lace wing. They do distribute their eggs and then they, they will become a larva. And eventually around infested plants is where they actually are going to be for where their food source is. So they will lay their eggs on the plants. They will pupate out or the eggs will hatch. They'll become a larva. They do have a tendency to cannibalize each other. So if you see them or if you purchase them, which you can purchase, distribute them around your garden areas. They are a great biological control for other insects. They are a predator. They really like aphids. So if you have aphids in your gardens, you can purchase lacewing eggs and go ahead and have them scattered. They eat other types of insects, such as small caterpillars, larvae of some beetles, insect eggs, and mites. Um, a lot of it is also going to depend upon what stage of growth that they're in, depends upon the kind of insect size that they might go after. The one thing to think about with lace wings is ants really like lace wing eggs and the larva. So you might want to keep that in mind. If you see a lot of ants that are going around your lace wings, might want to try to get rid of the ants then perhaps in a very safe way that isn't going to harm the lace wing. So let's look at this. So here's another picture. This is a great close-up picture. This is actually the egg. And then this little strand here actually attaches itself to either a branch or to the leaf of the plant that helps to protect each other because after they hatch, the larva can't really kind of climb up this thread. So that's a way of protecting themselves from their own cannibalizations. They can be found in great numbers. And again, they like the aphids and the mites. And that long strand is there, as I said, as a protection for them. They will hatch. And again, they will eat just about anything that they encounter that is part of their diet. And I think that's a really cool picture seeing that up close. So let's look at the larva. So the egg actually hatches out into this larva. And this is what it is. It's almost like a little bit of an alligator type of a shape. Notice there are spikes here. They can be greenish, they can be brownish, they could be mottled, such as what you have the white here and the dark here and dark there. You'll also notice that this mouth part, it's called a mandible, but you can see how it kind of is, it's, is grabbing and pinching on this particular aphid. So this is a great picture to show the larva of the lacewing actually attacking an aphid, and then it's going to go ahead and consume it. And then this is what the actual adult will look like. They're very delicate. They can be green or they can be brown. You'll notice that they do have a very small head. You'll also notice that their wings are longer than the full length of their actual body itself. The wings are really cool because they're predominantly clear. You can see the veins, very transparent, hence the name lace wing. And they can get a total of about a half an inch to about three quarters of an inch long. And that's what those little things are that were sticking off of the beet plant.